morning. Let's get the technicals right uh, for the week ahead. As always, Rohit Srivastava of India Charts is joining us to tell us exactly that. Uh, Rohit, thanks very much. Uh, you know, last Friday when you spoke, you mentioned that after many weeks, things are looking a little uh, wobbly and maybe there will be a pullback. Right on cue, when we started the week gone by on Monday, we got that wobble. The market sold off over the next two, three days as well. But as we, as we finished on Friday, uh, things are coming back. What's your assessment now? So I think it was a short-term correction that really I was looking for. And that correction was more on the back of weakness that we were seeing in banking stocks. So you had actually seen all of June uh, weakness in global banking stocks. So the U.S. Dow Jones Bank Index was actually down 5 to 6%. And our banking stocks had not yet re responded to that. So I think that was a good reason for them to react. And we got that correction and we got it pretty quickly. And so my sense is at the end of the week, that correction is probably complete by Thursday. Uh, the bank index actually went back to the low that we'd made on, uh, that is the uh, Nifty Bank, uh, went back to the low that we made on 29th of June, uh, close to the 21,000 mark. And I think that should sort of be the bottom. But uh, what I need to add here is that while banks uh, remain in focus, and I think you will see rallies from time to time because you can't have the Nifty going up without the financial sector, you are going to see long-term underperformance in, in banking. And I think that will be very similar to what happened after 2008 uh, with uh, most of the global banking, especially European and US, is once they'd been through the financial crisis, a lot of the burden uh, fell onto the banks. And therefore, even though they've risen from there, some of them like Citibank or Bank of, uh, you know, uh, Bank of New York have really not or Bank of America have really not gone back to the 2008 highs. And I think something similar is likely to happen here, which means banks will recover, but they are not going to be the top performing, uh, you know, stocks uh, in the market. And so you'll probably, you know, have a underperformer rate or rating on them for a quite long period of time. Okay, that's an interesting point, Ro Rohit uh, noted that. But I guess the market isn't complaining, right? Because the leadership uh, mantle is moving on effortlessly to IT names, to Reliance. And that's what this week has been all about. What did you make of this mega IT rally? And is it the start of something new? Uh, can someone still get in or is it too late now? So there will be rotation. So that's the interesting part. Uh, my point was uh, to make that was that you don't just look at banking as being weak uh, for a reason to be negative on the market in general. Uh, which is what a lot of people have ended up doing in the U.S. also over the last many years. So you'll get rotation into these sectors. But I do think in the short term, the tech rally has probably run its course. At least when you look at even the U.S., uh, you're getting a little overbought on the uh, tech index. Same if I look at, say, stocks like Infosys. Uh, and, you know, because this is all event-driven, so a lot of them have rallied into the event. And right after the event, you get some profit booking. So they typically tend to consolidate after... Uh, result seasons. We've seen that over and over again in the Indian IT sector. Uh, there's a lot of volatility around the results and then they cool off from there. So I think we'll get rotation out of IT into other sectors. They'll, of course, continue to perform on a 6-12 month basis. But I think uh, short term, probably the move in uh, the tech sector is done and you're getting rotation out of uh, tech into other sectors already in the US. So you can see the weakness last few days in the NASDAQ, but you see an up move actually in the transports and Russell and other broad-based, uh, you know, market indicators. So I think same thing happens here. You've seen again uh, an up move starting to happen, say, for example, in pharma this week. So pharma stocks, which were consolidating for almost the last one, one and a half month, have now started to go. So you could see an uptick in Dr. D Zipla. I think those are stocks that you'll start looking at again. And as you get news around, you know, the, uh, you know, vaccine-related stuff, you'll again see, uh, you know, interest in stocks like AstraZeneca and other MNC pharma as well. So pharma should, I think, uh, again, come back in focus in the next few weeks in terms of upside. That's one sector to watch. Uh, the other one, which I have been tracking closely and which is also consolidated over the last uh, month or so, is the metals pack. So you've seen a rally in the euro, for example, and that's leading to weakness in the dollar, typically good for both emerging markets and commodity prices. So I think metal stocks, uh, which were actually up today, might be starting a rally because if you look at the BSE metal index, it's actually... Uh, breaking out of the last one month's trading range. So it spiked beyond the top end of that range. It didn't close outside that range today. I thought it would. Uh, so we can watch that on Monday as well. And once it does, then, then it's on the way to a multi-week rally in the uh, time ahead. So watch this rotation. Don't get focused on only banking or any particular sector. And you'll have to keep moving from one sector to the other uh, in terms of the up move that is developing. And the Nifty itself, which is, which is why you see the Nifty 
uh, did not fall as much as either the mid cap index or the bank nifty because mm. uh, this rotation is helping it uh, you know stock wise so you, you saw that big sell off on reliance on tuesday but then tech held it up and similarly now you are seeing hindustan lever for example make a comeback uh, because uh, all through the last two months hll uh, hul was actually an underperformer because it fell in the month of may when the market was going up now it is actually making a comeback so you will you again getting a uh, rotation back into uh, the uh, you know fmcg space and that might again support the market so you will get this rotation you need to watch out for it and uh, continue to ride uh, each sector uh, and in, and the nifty itself then ends up holding a high level i think it's made the base at 10500 600 and we should now be heading somewhere towards 11200 to 11300 in the next two weeks arodi of 30 seconds to answer this uh, ril on the agm day went to 1978 sold off 200 rupees friday came back almost 4% as a sector by itself uh wh- what do you think the chances are there well, how, do, how do the prospects look and second the other energy stocks bpcl oil uh, oil marketing stocks which you mentioned are good for upside last friday when we spoke and they've done well uh, is there more left there yes so i think the omc is continue to move they just started the rally in the last two days uh, so i think that that uh, that stays in place because i don't think oil now goes up much more beyond 42 dollars so that's the simple thing that pressure goes away Uh, as far as reliance is concerned it's been the biggest contribu- contributor to the nifty the one level i'm watching there is 1780 if it breaks that then i would expect maybe another 100 150 rupees correction there but if it doesn't break that then it will probably keep trending or maybe consolidate in a range before it moves higher so it's been a performer it can consolidate that would also be fine uh, but that's the key level to watch 1780 for reliance All right, uh, uh, Roy. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Those are uh, technic- technical, technical uh, sort of indicators to watch out for as we come back next week. Don't get fixated on the Nifty or the Bank Nifty or index levels. Most probably, by the way, as Roy mentioned, they've made a base. But focus on rotation and two sectors which he's identified is pharma. Probably interest starts to come back again into pharma names, and the other is metals with the BSE Metal Index breaking out of a one-month trading range is what Roy is uh, describing. Uh, what he's seeing. at